Hey guys, guess what we got in today? Turtle Beach, Velocity One, Race Drill, Waste Wheel. Ugh, can't talk today. K Drive, Adjustable Dashboard, Dynamic Brake Tech, Load Cell Braking System, Race Management Display, Disconnectable Steering Wheel, all the goodies on this one. So, I've opened it up and saved you guys the time of me going through and opening this up because it took a while to open up all the packages and everything. So just to show you what we're dealing with right here in this box, we have all the instructions, like a flag that they gave us. And uh, I guess this is an important bit, we'll bring this out. And like your power brick adapters, USB cables, and feet for the stuff if you're not gonna be putting it on, a, on some type of a cockpit or wheel stand, which I will be. I have one on order that will be here soon. But for now, let's just go over the initial impressions of the wheel just right here on my bed real quick. So initial impressions, let's start with the, the, the steering wheel. This is leather. The stitching is good on the steering wheel. However, it does feel plasticky and I don't know how else to explain that really, but it just doesn't feel like a super solid wheel. Like the center part is plastic. Uh, the, the hub right here is metal and it is a quick disconnect. So that's nice. The top paddles on the back feel very good. Although there are some flex in them, if you can see that. You see the flex? The bottom ones uh, are not clicky. They're just normal and they also have the same flex in them. The buttons on the top are plastic. These do not spin all the way around. They're like a, they're just kind of on a spring where they go back when you let go of them. So I'm not sure what functionality that will serve. Uh, they are plastic. These buttons feel really good. These six, uh, they are mechanical buttons. It feels like we have a directional pad right here. This is like a joystick. You move up, left, right, etc. These dials right here that have like the notches in them, just do not, they do not feel good. I'm not gonna lie. That they, like, they're not very clicky. They're kind of like a soft click. And the wheel is a little small, but I, but I think that's fine for most racing, but it's not a normal sized wheel. It is Feels fine in the hand. We do have a button back here, LSB and RSB and a USB port right here, if you can see it. That is kind of tacky having a screw back here holding this band together. If you can see, here's the band for the center and it is uh, just a screw going in there. So I'm not gonna lie, not super impressed with this yet, but we'll have to use it and see what it feels like actually on the stand racing in some games. The next part of this ordeal is the button box that they include. Again, all plastic material. It's got a switch that comes up. Feels like cheap plastic. The switch itself, however, for your uh, battery on or off or ignition on switch on off actually feels very good. Very, very good. Engine start and stop. These feel like membrane buttons. These dials have a nice tactile feel left to right. They are made out of plastic. However, if you'll look, hopefully the camera grabs this. Look at all the play in those things. Amazing. Why is there all that play in there, you know? These buttons feel fine. And these switches, let me get the air conditioner off or else it's gonna not gonna be able to hear me. Ugh. And then these switches at the bottom feel very nice. So we're kind of hit and miss right now with the quality, to be honest with you. And the mount on this is metal. So we move on to the direct drive hub. This thing is heavy. So the motor that's in here must be a pretty good size because I can tell you that this thing is like a good 15 pounds. It is it is a heavy uh, a heavy base for sure. There's not much more to say about this until I use it, but here's your connections in the back. Oh, it's so heavy. There's your connections in the back, if you can see them. 
zoom in on that. Some expansion ports. Some type of a sensor up here or something maybe. Looks like a sensor window. Not sure what that's about. And we have the race management display, which we will test out tomorrow. And your quick disconnect hub. Give people a look at that all the way around it. I know no one's got a good look at this wheel yet, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, right away when I when I opened it, get, let everyone get a good, a good, a good just overview of what it looks like in my initial impressions. Again, everything is tingy plastic, tingy plastic, tingy plastic, tingy plastic. The base, uh, no different. Tingy plastic. Even this plate that looks like it's metal is not. It is tingy plastic. The pedals, however, are metal. And they feel pretty good, to be honest with you. The gas pedal feels really good. The brake is super stiff right now, which is good. There's adjustment in all the pedals, and the clutch feels pretty good. It's a little soft, but that could probably be... Yeah, There's I can tighten the spring up. So kudos on the pedals, and they are all metal construction. If we look on the back here, we have a mode button and some type of pass through USB. Not sure, I'll have to figure all this out when I connect it up. What I do not like about the pedals is you have the pedals themselves are pretty solid, but then look at this. Can you, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. But we have shifting left and right in every single pat, every single pedal. And if you look, I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. Here's your adjustments, so you can move the pedal left and right, the brake pedal at least, and it has hard mounting, hard mounting slots for it. So yeah, that's the initial impressions. I'll have her set up in a few days, probably a couple days actually. And we'll give her a rundown and see how she runs on the Xbox. Talk to you later.